We're out in the Monongahela National Forest again. This time we're in an area that don't normally come to. In fact, I've never come out here before. Uh, this is Old Mine Road, and it's part of an area, at least this area of Old Mine Road, it's part of an area known as the Mauer Tract, named after the mining company that used to mine the area. They used to strip mine it for minerals, uh, coal, among other things. And as tends to happen with strip mining, it left the land, well, a little changed. So this area has been under ecological rehabilitation since the 1980s and they really got serious about it in the early 2000s. They put in a lot of wetland areas, a lot of these ponds. Uh, they've been replanting the original spruce pine that used to be out here. The whole area is they, they've been they've been reclaiming it and they've been doing a fantastic job. It looks great out here. And there is a horsefly on my camera. Get off there. Okay. So we're out here, we're riding the area, we're going to head a little further up into the area that used to actually be the strip mine, and we're hopefully going to find a good campsite. This actually would not be a terrible campsite. It's where you got a fire ring, it's just a little close to the trail for me, but if we can't find something better up on the mountain a little further, we may end up here tonight because it's not terrible. So let's go ahead and hit the trail again and see what else is up there. campsites out here are incredible. I mean, for real. Look at this view. Wow. Oh yeah. I'm going to waypoint this one, so if you want the GPS coordinates for it, head over to my Patreon, patreon.com slash defiantoffroad, and I'll post it there. This one is, this one is freaking amazing.
don't know that I've ever been to a Forest Service Road trail, whatever you want to call it, that had this many fantastic campsites. Uh, this one that we were just at is definitely a winner, but we don't have too much to go until we're at the end of the trail. So we're going to keep going and see if there's any better ones. And if they're not, then we'll double back and figure out which of these incredible campsites we're going to stay at for the night. This place is incredible. cool uh, we finished old mine road we got to the end turned around and came back and now we're just at the scenic overlook the name of the game now is camp came back to one of the campsites we stopped at earlier, one with this pretty magnificent view over here. And this is where we're gonna stay for the night. This campsite is amazing. This whole area is amazing. Already got the offsite tent set. Andy's over there finishing up, setting up his tent, and then we are gonna get dinner started. I know. What you're thinking, oh my god, a Defiant Off-Road video where he's going to be cooking dinner? Eh, I don't know that we're going to be cooking dinner so much as just heating something up real quick. But this trail is amazing. Well, trail, it's a gravel road, but the views out here are incredible. And you have got to check this place out. Old Mine Road in West Virginia. It is just amazing.
I'm just outside our campsite. Fire's burning over there. Uh, Andy's upstairs back there, the Defiance over there. It's just after sunset, right about sunset. It just dipped behind the mountain peak over there. And it is amazing out here. This is definitely one of the best places I've been to camp in a long time. I'm really, really glad that we came out here. This place is epic. Um, I got to give a shout out to my boy Chris at Chasing Adventures Overland because he is the first person that mentioned this place to me and said he wanted to come out here. Um, so check him out on Instagram, Chasing Adventures Overland. Uh, good job, Chris, on, on pointing this place out. Uh, you and I will have to come back out here. Uh, this place is pretty freaking amazing. I'm going to keep poking around right around the campsite. And then I'm going to carry my happy butt over to the campfire because it's actually starting to get a tiny little bit chilly. It's the hoodie. This place is awesome. Good morning. It's a really, really, really nice night up here on the mountain. We're at about 4,300 feet elevation. It got a little chilly, but nothing that the sleeping bag couldn't handle. But man, the view that I woke up to this morning, you can't beat this. Take a look at this. pretty excellent campsite. I will definitely be waypointing this for future use and if you want to know where it's at, if you want the coordinates, head over to my Patreon. You know the drill and I'll post them there. But for now, we're going to get up, get cleaned up, break down the rest of the campsite from last night and get on the road because we got about a five plus hour drive to get home. It is so Super windy out here now. Well, camp is pretty much packed up and cleaned up. Left it better than we found it. We cleaned up a little trash that was in it. I just had to come out here and take one last look around because this is pretty awesome. This just, I don't even feel like I'm in West Virginia right now. Honestly, I feel, I feel like, I feel like I'm in some place like Idaho or something, you know, minus the shorter mountains, but even way out there, I don't even know if the camera will pick it up. There's some taller peaks but I think I said earlier we're sitting at about 4,300 feet which for this area is pretty high up but wow it's just amazing gravel road trails like old mine road I don't tend to come back to multiple times because there's not a whole lot to see or a whole lot to do but I'll definitely be coming back here this place was epic and I have waypointed this campsite that we were in so this one over here so if you want it, head over to Patreon and I will post it up there. But we're going to hop in the vehicles. I'll pick up the last of our stuff over there. Hop in the vehicles and then 
start pointing ourselves back towards uh, Hampton Roads. We're done out here at Old Mine Road. It was a fantastic trail. I can't put into words how magnificent the campsites were. They definitely reminded me of being out west. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'm this close to 40,000 subscribers. It'll really help me out. And check out my boy Chris at Chasing Adventures Overland on Instagram because he's the one who told me about the trail. So Chris, sorry I came without you, but we'll make a return trip out here. Until next time, this has been Defiant Off-Road.